Yo, what up, though? It's your boy Big Squeeze live and direct with the homie. I got my dog, my yeah. player partner, my OG, the one and only DJ Chris Styles. What's up, good brother? What's good, man? What's hey, good, man, man. Listen, man. You ain't even, you know, this interview was kind of impromptu, and you always ready, man. Ohio on. This is what you, you do, see? man. You, you see, always you repping, bro. That's why we got to respect that. You see, you got to keep it going, man. No matter what, man. It's for the, it's for the, it's for the state, man. Uh, yeah, it's good to see you, man. I love you, see. y'all. For everybody hey. out there right now that's about to see this, yo, I met Big Squeeze. It had to be like six years ago. Yeah, uh, doing a mom and pop uh hip hop show. Yeah, and Squeeze come out with that fire. Like he had that sound because I was coming back from Philly, and he had that that New York East Coast sound. I was like, yo. This big motherfucker is spitting. And y'all <laughs> and like with energy too. Not just standing on stage. I'm talking about he side yeah. to side, moving yeah. doing his thing with bars. I said, yo, he's good. I was asking you, where's my music at? Where's my music at? Hey man, listen, and it's so crazy because you do be on me. But I sent you some music. I gotta resend it to something, because I've sent you some music. <laughs> Real talk. You froze up, bro. You good? You there? What's good? Okay, you, you well, back. You back. You back. You somebody, were frozen. Somebody, yeah, somebody was probably trying to call me. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so look, let's jump into it, man. You are putting on for the city something strong. Something strong, bro. I see you uh nightly repping um, on WOVU 95.9 FM. Um, your show kick off at 8 o'clock, right? And, and, and from 8 to 11, you just tearing up the airwaves, man. Local music, independent vibes. It's crazy because it's really good music. And had I not told you it's independent music and I just cut the radio on, you're going to listen. You're yeah. going to listen yeah. because this is good music and it should be on the radio. How does it feel to be the only dude nightly representing for the culture, man? It's good, but let me put this caveat. Let me put this out there. So I always do this, and I hate you know. I always like to switch shit up because I am a journalist just like you. <laughs> you were the first to do it in Cleveland Word that up. I know. Word up. That I know. So I like tell everybody all the time. It wasn't me. Squeeze was doing it on WOVU first. Hey man, much respect. I man. I, I, I just expanded it. I expanded. What he was doing. Well, you know, that's what, you all, know so. that was always like my. my well, I got to give you the credit. I, I got to give you I the credit. I appreciate that love, bro. But you know what, Chris Styles, you 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 taking it up a notch. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was always my dream to give the independent people a proper platform, and you felt the same way, man. And it just we just we just clicked, man. You you've been my yeah. dog ever since, bro. Yeah, so, I know. So, not, but it's great. The show is great. Um, I, like I said, if you, if everybody check out my social media, I, I posted up today. Like uh -huh. I've been doing independent artists for areas since 2000. Now, while I was in the Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, well, Shippensburg, I was in college. I had uh, the Hip Hop Block Party yeah. uh, on the college radio. Yeah. Uh, I was doing all independent hip hop music and local guys too in the area, so that's why guys from Harrisburg know who I am, because they literally just call me up. I was hip-hop director for the station. Yo, can I come down for an interview? I said, let's go. Let's, let's play your music. It's always been my thing, like, why I, in my mind is, if somebody pops off me, that's my thing, if somebody pops off my show. Right. Like, if you somebody pop off and I was able to help bring you to that? At the beginning, man, it's cats that I know that performing now from 20 years ago that's doing a thing that know me jojo uh jojo P Pelladrino. i can't remember his name but he just dropped some records um i remember Jahim. like i could just name independent artists for days that's performing now that know yeah, me it's, back it's, in it's so many that, that you don't run across over the years i i know and that like I know and that. so they like, yo, you helped me, yo, you got my first show, yo, you did this. So like, that is, is good for me. That's a so great always been doing it. Yeah, I always been doing it. I love it. And then when I moved to Cleveland, um, I was on uh, No Static Radio. Oh, I yeah, did the okay. exact same thing on No Static Radio. Shout out to No Static. Uh, 
Shout out to my boy Andrew Japina. He was one of the first ones to start that joint. Um, I did that with no static playing in the artist. And then, you know, they ran into a WOVU. And, and my thing at that point was FM radio. What? I'm about to play all Cleveland music, dog. What? Because at the end of the day, I sound we, over the airwaves in your car just vibing? That's crazy. What do we got to lose, bro? That's crazy, right? And then it's like, even if it's not really a, a great song, I gave you a chance. I played it once or twice. I gave you a chance. Because it's like, just because I don't like it, that don't mean it's trash. Somebody else might like it. So let me give yeah. it a chance. So yeah, I, yeah. yeah. And, all, all and that's what it is. It's not my opinion. Like, I'm always going to play the records that I love. Um, I'm always going to play. I'm a, I'll am put it out there so that people, I'm always going to play the Von Swagger, the Dana Sass. You know, Ray Jr. is number one on my list always. I just like the way he sounds. Um, I, I'm going to play the Prime DBI because I know they put out great, great music. Like, I'm going to play them records because those records that I generally like and they yeah. make good yeah. quality, quality music. Get some other guys I, out there. I've, I've, I've interviewed them. all them dudes and I like all yeah. them dudes. They all, all yeah. everybody you name got good music. You know, shout out to YFL Kelman. Like, even he, he he's coming to make some great ones. There's some other young ones uh, that make some great records. That, yeah, they're just not as consistent yet as, as those guys. Like, I consider those guys like elite Cleveland artists that make great. So, those are my personal favorites that I play. Fly Todd, I'm going to play them because I know they put out great records. So, but the other guys, they get played too at least once. You know, right. but I got my favorite. They that. But then other artists have an opportunity to get your music played. Yeah, Always. and then, you know, a big thing, too, is artists can't get discouraged if you don't like the first song. Like, send me five million songs. What's wrong with you? What you got to lose? Yeah, yeah, Send yeah. me a song every day. Every song that I don't like, I, I, I might like the new send one. Me. Yeah. yeah. I might like the new one. I might make the next one. I, I think that's one of the issues we have with artists. Um they drop a song and, and, and then they think I supposed to like it all the time. Yeah. I, I'm always to a point where I tell them, don't worry about what I think because I'm, I'm not your fan base. Exactly. I'm I am the not your fan. I'm the platform. Yeah. That's it. I tell them I am older. So I am stuck with who I like to listen to. Right. And the sound that I like. Right. So I'm not, you're not marketing to me. You're marketing to your people. Now, if I hear a good record, I think it's a great record all around sound, and I'll tell us, oh, yeah, this, this, this one might get it. Yeah. You know, but if you have a – in today's world, you have your own lane and your own fans. And you find that. You find yourself, you find your lane, find your voice, and you find that that's who you try to impress. I tell people all the time, what do your people think? What do your fans think? What are they saying? Oh, if you true. can't answer that, if you can't answer that question, my opinion doesn't even matter because I'm looking for something different. I'm, you know, I'm. It's the truth. When when the younger generation say, when I talk about the older artists, they say, "Well, I'm not understanding because I'm not living that. I don't, I don't get it." It's the same way when I listen to the younger artists. Right. I'm like. I'm not. I'm not in that lane with them. I don't understand some stuff. I don't understand. It's not what for me. About. It's, it's not, not for, for me. me. Exactly. Exactly. So I, I don't hate on it. I say it's just not for me. What's so. the dopest part about being recognized as like one of the premier DJs in the city? As as far as you know, breaking records. Like you doing what you what you're doing is a is an outdated way of doing things because people don't usually break records this way anymore. But no, what you're doing is keeping artists grounded and, 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 and in touch and in tune with the culture. How does it right. feel to stay true to what you do and what you know and what got you to the party? I, I just only go with what I know. Um, um, uh, it, it, it's satisfying and it is, a, but it is what I do. Uh, you know, it is an outdated way of doing it. It is radio and I tell them all the time it's just one piece is that I'm just a small piece of the puzzle. It was not 20 years ago where it would have been the big piece of the puzzle. Right. I'm a small piece of the puddle, puzzle, but I also stream on my, my, my social media, so it gets that that extra Well, another outside. thing, too, is I think, I think 
eventually you're going to have to come to a point where you people saying radio is dead is kind of a thing where you can't really say because yeah. I think radio has proven to, have the, the, to live up through the test of time. Yeah, yeah. People are going to drive their cars daily. Yeah. And plus, you, you got an app, though. So you got app, you got the website, so you can get on your phone. Yeah, but I mean, like, okay, like, let's say how often you hop in somebody's car. It's either auxiliary cord or... Yeah. For the most uh, part, hold it's up, auxiliary hold cord, Bluetooth, hold or, up, hold up, hold or the hold radio. Up. We not we don't do auxiliary cords no more. Yeah, that's exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's either Bluetooth the mic, or the radio. If, 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 if I get into a car and you got an auxiliary cord, we fighting somebody. Listen, hey, when, you probably don't want to hear what's on the other end of that aux cord either. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Yeah, auxiliary cord. You trying to go to the dollar store? I got to go to the dollar store and get my aux, aux cord. Oh, man. What nah, about the one nah. with the tape deck attached to the headphones? Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, oh, we, we, don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't need those. You better get your Bluetooth. It, it, what? It, you can Wait. upgrade. <laughs> you got to, right? What what advice you got for independent artists trying to uh make their own imprint in the game? I tell you this. First thing is this is a hobby or career. Mm. You gotta figure mm. that out. Mm. See so you talking Immediately. now. Now you talking. Cause that's the first question. Cause if you just if if it's a hobby, it's nothing I can tell you. Right. It's your hobby. That means you're inconsistent. Right. If it's career, you attack it like it's career. And I tell them that you attack it like it's a career. So every day you got to work it like it's a job, okay. even though you have another job already. So that means that if you work your regular 40 hours, you got to work another 35 hours Oof. on your crap. Oof. Does it make sense? That made more than, more than enough sense, my guy. Okay, so you got to work. It's a job. It's your job. This is our job, me and you. This is what we do. We, we work. We work at, in media. We work in music. We work DJing. That's our job. Even though we probably have something else, we still do extra hours. So I still work for the school district. Right. Because I love right. the kids. Right. I could probably stop. I could probably stop and survive and make it. But I love what I do with the school district, too. Well, but absolutely. I and, and I and work another like, extra 40 hours at the station. If you're passionate hey, about DJ. doing seven things, you're going to do all seven of those things. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, artists, we want to tell you to do one. Right. It's be an artist. Right. Uh, that's one. Second thing is be presentable. Know who you talk to. I never, you know me, I never uh, uh, express who I am. Right. I do that for a reason. I never say, oh, I'm so-and-so, so-and-so. I do that for a reason because you never know who you run into. Mm -hmm. I want to know, talk to the person when they don't know who I am. Right. See what type of person right. they are. Right. And I ran into a couple of dudes who give me the side eye, talk craziness, and don't know who I am. Is it until they figure out? And then they sing somebody, the music and be like, oh. It is, and that somebody else was like, oh, no, you didn't say something to the wrong dude because he's yeah. that guy. Yeah. They're like, oh. I say, yo, it's the business. It's the world. So that's one, to be professional uh, and, and, and to love what you do. Don't do it for the clout. Do it because you love the music. Mm. And, I, and I can hear it, you know, do it because you love the music and this is what you want to do. Because I tell them straight up, it's the worst industry to get in. That's hard. That's hard. <laughs> it's the worst that's industry a, to get in. That's you know, you're the artist. You're the artist, you know. Oh, I, it's, 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 absolutely. But... You, you you see you see I had to switch my passion in halfway yeah, but through. But but then you give a different take a different angle from it now. Yeah, yeah. You know. Well, see, I've been. This is my ninth year doing radio, and I, I damn, I've been all nine in. years. That's dope. Yeah, I started in twenty eleven, bro. I've been all in for like since twenty fourteen. Man, you know, wow. Did I saw I've been doing it for twenty years. Sheesh. I'm on Listen, my I do. Peep this, peep this way. 2000 was my very first radio show. Damn. And peep this though. And, and this is in 2000. Our college radio station was on the internet at the same time. Wow. In 2000. Hey, so, so I had people from so University of you, man. Virginia, uh, BCU, North Carolina <laughs> Central. 20 years strong given to the culture. We got to, we got to. 20 years, man. 
and, and, but it's, it's a testament of not giving up. So exactly. I always want to be on FM. It's always a want to be on FM radio. So I jumped from a, a college radio to doing my internet show, the Harrisburg Broadcast Network, on, on the internet show. This two thousand five, I hey. had an internet show. Hey, but when you did get you know, on FM radio, we lit that mug up. Lit it up. I'm still, hey, we still, lit I'm it. still mad about the hip hop man. We used to have Cleveland Woo! on fire, Chris Style. When we had that day, block from party. Two, from two to like six. Two Woo! to six, it was stupid every Saturday. Hey, listen, and that's why I never, and I told Crazy T this, I said I'm never bringing that show back until I can get Big Squeeze a part of it. So that's why I've never done it. I said I feel I could have done everything to bring that song. We could still do hip hop. I said, nope. No, nope. it, it was a, it was a formula of how it went, and it was it was it was perfectly the laid out. Black party was amazing, but you know it, what? We're gonna bring it back. It's gonna we're gonna bring it back. I'm not I, listen. I'm not doing it until I know Squeeze is a part of this. We back at it. We're I'm not. Bring I, it back, man. Because they they asked me, tweet crazy tell they asked me about it. It was like, yo, you ever bring it back? I said, nope, not with my big Squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> Nope. Hey, nope. We lit it nope. up, big, we When Squeeze it. come back, we get squeezed. We do it. We do it with Squeeze. I get squeezed, and I can do it. When we do it again, we're going to take it up a notch. Oh, oh, when we do it again, it's going to be all type of visuals. It's going to be something different. Hey, so. That's a listen, tour. If y'all not familiar, get familiar. My guy, DJ Chris Styles, puts on for the city and all independent artists nationwide, okay? But we focused on the 216 because that's what yes. we are. So please believe you can send your music to him. Um, please give him your email or the way to send in, uh, music to you. We got fancy now. So it's music director at WOVU.org. Oh, fancy. <laughs> Look at you. Got, <laughs> got, a little, got, got a little fancy now. So music director at WOVU.org. Now, here's the thing. Artists. Please send your bio O E P K. Please. With radio edited music. I will tell you. Let, now. Me, let me take over for you. I got you. Go ahead, I know it. you. Go get it, get it. Listen, Go artists, when you send your music <laughs> to music director at WOVU.org, make sure that A, you send it with a small bio. We don't need your life story, but we also need to know who we're dealing with. Secondly, please make sure that this music is clean, okay? This is FM radio. We cannot, they cannot, DJs across the world, no one can play music riddled with F-bombs and sexual explicit lyrics. We can't do it, okay? Make sure the music is clean. Thirdly, and this is very important also, make sure the music sound quality is great. It has to sound good. You oh, should yeah. not want to be heard citywide with a terrible sound itself especially if it's a good song. Make sure it sounds great. Those are my three rules that I require. Hopefully you feel the same. I do. And real quick, artists, here's the thing about my platform, about WOVU platform. People listen. Yes. And, 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 and the generation that listens is the one that always uh, look down on you. And I'm talking about the older generation, older than me. And they listen to the music. They listen to the show, which is a it's, it's a it's a funny thing for me to have uh, my 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 older OGs call up and like, yeah, I do listen to the show. I, you play some good music, and mind you, this is Cleveland music I'm playing. Right, and they and listen they to it in other places. Yeah, yeah, other places, even the city. I had to do like, oh yeah, I listen to you. I listen to the music you play. You play good music. Now nah, this is rap music. This is the trap music. This is the R&B music. All Cleveland artists. Right. So, uh, guys, uh, sing your music in. Uh, I do it for the city. I do it for love. What do we always say? We don't take any money. Hey, all I know is this. Instead of saying that again, you, you, you chopped out. Oh, oh tell, tell, tell them what we always say. Uh, no pay, just play. Hey, right? the hashtag, you follow that hashtag, because that hashtag was strong. No pay, just play. Yeah. You don't got to pay. You don't got to pay me. I, I had to do zero offer. dollars. Listen, I had to do offer me 
money on my Instagram. Like, yeah, you deserve. I said, no, nah, dude, man, just send me your music. Man, I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't take your money, man. I, one, one, if I ever, if I was ever doing that, that little peanut is not peanut. Right. Trust and believe. Well, I, really I know the true value of it. So right. it's not even worth it. You don't got it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like ten dollars does it's, nothing. It's a it's, bunch of reasons why it's not even worth charging. It's not even worth just it, listen. man. So just listen. listen in, bro. Just listen. I all I ask take me and Big Squeeze, uh, push our shows out. Just like you guys want support us DJs that's on the radio, we need support. Need support the DJs. Look. Support the DJs that support you. That's all I'm telling the artists. Support the DJs. It's art is DJs out here that that that's bigger than us and 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 name. That's in the city, and I'm gonna say what it it is, what it is. That not gonna support your music through and through. That you won't be able to touch. Listen, you can't do it for them. You gotta do it for yourself and for the love. Yep. Yep. Tell yep. them for the love. Reach you, Chris Styles. Uh, at DJ Chris Styles, everything that's DJ K R I S T Y L E S. That at everything. So any social media site, it is the same through and through. Uh, hit me up. You can talk to me. You can hit me up. I hit you back right away. I'm not Hollywood. Yeah, I promise is, you. Any time of the night, I am up. I don't sleep. <laughs> you hit me. Follow my bro. Support the movement because it's moving each and every weekday, 8 to 11, WOVU 95.9 FM. And if you out the range, it's okay. Just go to WOVU.org. Check them out and you can hear them, all right? He's going to be there, and he's going to be putting it down. Get the app. Get the app. Get the app. Download the app. Download the app. Hey, Chris Styles, much love, my yeah. bro. I love it. And listen, it's not over. We got some stuff in the works. Believe we, that. We got business to handle, man, to be yes, continued. We do. Yes, we do. Love, love you, bro. Take care, man. All right. Love you. Peace. One.